All right, and welcome to another Autodesk Construction Cloud video. Today, we're going to talk about a new feature in for available for model coordination. It's an add-in uh, that we can install through our Autodesk desktop app inside of Revit. And the add-in is called the Publish to NWC uh, option here. And what that's going to allow us to do is just batch publish our settings or our um, our Publish settings, sorry, for our Revit projects here. So, you know, just like um, saving and, and publishing our model up into Autodesk Construction Cloud, um, you know, and having all these views available, we can now direct export from Revit to an NWC file format and either choose a location inside of our Autodesk Construction Cloud or we could just choose a desk uh, option on our desktop or wherever we want to save our files uh, natively. So they don't have to go to the cloud when you export here to NWC. Um, but if you do, there's some other options to that. It's First off, it's going to be lightweight. NWC is a very lightweight file format. I can set up all these different views inside of Revit that I want to export out to the cloud. And then what I can also do is coordinate or clash detect on those NWC files um, instead of using the Revit files inside of um, the construction cloud. And we can also bring or open these files inside of Navisworks if we wish. So just a, a new tool available to everybody in the Autodesk desktop app in the lower right corner of your system tray there. You should be able to install it. And uh, so let's get started here. So what we want to kind of look at first inside of Revit is just the publish settings. So essentially, whatever I have checked in here, um, in my publish settings and I can create as many of these uh, select sets that I wish. And so we can see that uh, this 3D view is going to get published up all of these sheets, my floor plans here as well. And maybe I wanted a 3D view of, of just doors or windows or if you're on the mechanical side, maybe you, you go out into Revit here and you create additional 3D views for um, whatever it might be. So maybe just you have a 3D view of HVAC and maybe just a 3D view of uh, piping. And then what we want to do is we want to check out the um, options here inside of our construction cloud. So right now I'm in my, uh, my project here and I'm under the docs directory, under the files directory. And I created a folder here called uh, new Revit to NWC. But what I'll do is create a, another folder here and we'll just call it the uh, new new Revit to NWC. And with that said, now this is where I'm going to actually put these files. You can see that if I go back to my previous one, I have all my NWC files that I published from the MEP model and the ARC model. If I want to take a look at these, I could just click on them uh, as you would inside of Autodesk Construction Cloud. And you can take a look at um, these models. Currently, I have a whole lot of pins because I did a clash detection on these NWC files. So I'm just gonna close out of there. Um, you can almost think of like this as instead of exporting to like, you know, DXF and some of these older file formats, we can kind of start to use this NWC as a, as a solid format to be um, exporting to. So jumping back to our Revit, um, what I'm gonna do here is, I think I do want to add a couple more 3D views first off. So I'm just gonna go to all the 3D views in my model kind of like these uh, black and white and shaded views. So I'm going to save those into my uh, select set here. And now we just have to jump up to our add-in tab. Um, of course, we have it installed through our desktop app. So if I were to open up my desktop app here, you can see uh, I have access to all these different um, updates. Um, and that update was available right in here near the top because it just came out a, a few days ago. And after it's installed, you should see it right here in Revit. Now, selecting my add-ins, publish to NWC. I'm going to get a dialog box, and it's going to actually just pull in all of those um, sets that I had talked about, my publish settings. And if I'm OK with that, I can just click OK. And I can even rename them from here. So maybe I don't want the 3D view word to be in front of all of these. So we can actually go through and rename them. I could even say I don't want, you know, um, these floor plans in here if I don't want them to be exported as well. So you have some um, control in here after 
setting everything up in the published settings. Down here at the bottom, we can select our destination folder. Right now, it's just going to go to my documents directory. But, and that's great. You could also um, export them to a server, whatever your um, requirements might be. Instead, I'm going to look for the Autodesk uh, docs icon here that, you know, gets installed with the um, desktop connector there. I'm going to go into my project, find the folder that I wish to export these to, click publish to here at the bottom and publish. And now it's going to go through and publish each one of these um, views to an NWC file format. Now my screen, um, it actually popped up on my other screen. It brings up a dialog box. I'm not able to drag it over 100% um, right now but it's going to go through and show you the progress of these uh, files exporting. And then once they're exported, we can go take a look at them. Um, because I just did it right now live, most likely they will uh, not be ready. So let's just go take a look anyways. In here, And you can see they're starting to appear inside of our cloud. Now, while we wait for those to appear, what I want to show you is something that you can do for model coordination uh, that maybe not too many people are aware of. Um, if I jump up to my documents uh, module here and I go to model coordination and give this time to load in, what I can do over here to the uh, far right side is I can choose different model or coordination spaces. These are all different spaces uh, that have been created for my uh, clashing. And what I can do here is I can go to manage coordination space and I can create additional spaces. So you can see here I have my new Revit to NWC one. So any files that are put into that folder will automatically get clashed against each other. And what I'm going to do is create a new one just to show you how to do this. And all we need to do here is choose that folder location, hit create. And now that I've created this coordination space, our Autodesk Construction Cloud platform is going to auto clash any files that are put into this space. And at this time, I only have architectural files in here, so there's not a ton to clash against. But you could tell if I put in a structural model in here, a piping model, and some additional information or some additional models, we would automatically get some clashing. So I'm going to jump into this new Revit one just to kind of show you. So what we're going to do here is go back to our project or sorry, we're going to go back to our models tab here. Inside of again, model coordination. And we can see that I am right now in the new Revit to NWC one that I created prior to doing this uh, demo here. And if we take a look, we have 63 clashes on the ARC model, 75 on the HVAC, 150 on the plumbing. We could go to the clashes tab here to the left side, and we could see that the HVAC model and the ARC model have 75 clashes. And we have the HVAC model and the ARC model. Um, when you compare that one to that one, we have 33. Um, and I could always click inside of here if I want, and it will take me to these uh, two models aggregated together where I can kind of begin to look at the uh, clashes. Some things, for example, might not be a clash. So if we see that ceiling space in there, um, oops, let's just uh, do that there. It might not be a clash. So I can just go through this list here and, uh, and take a closer look. And once I find a, a clash that might be valid, potentially um, this elbow here, what I could do is just pick on it. select on it and choose create issue, put a little pin down here, give it some time for my issue uh, ticket to generate. And I've now will be creating a clash issue for this project. Once this is uh, created, you can see I can go through the list here. I can make edits and changes. I can assign this clash to somebody in the company to deal with. I can add additional watchers. So maybe 
um, other people that are watching and viewing the clash, choose a location, even a due date and an end date. So let's set the due date for Friday. Let's pick the start date for today and what the cause of this might be. So maybe it's just a design uh, coordination issue. And I can as well add some additional references, maybe some photos, files, anything that will help um, the person I assign this to understand it better. So that's kind of how we could um, view and, and look at these clashes. Another way of doing it, though, is if I just go to the uh, models tab, I can just click two models and I can open them in the viewer myself. So instead of going to that other shortcut, I can open these two models together. I can save them as a view and give them a name. So I could just say piping versus ducks. And it could either be a private or a public view for other people to view. And once I've saved that view, I can now go to the uh, clash tab and begin looking for clashes and review any issues that have been um, created, which is uh, quite nice. A little bit easier than inside a Revit, where if you're looking around in a Revit model, obviously it can take a bit of time and, uh, and resources on the computer. And right now I'm just looking at a nice lightweight uh, NWC file up, up here. All right. Um, <clears throat> so with that said, let's go back and take a look at our, our um, files here. So we're going to go back up to Docs, go to our files, choose the file folder we just loaded up some files to. And you can see here are our, 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 our 3D views. Not really going to be um, much in there, just a standard 3D view of the architectural model. But again, as we begin to add additional files up here, we can get newer versions. We can compare against one another. And it's just another way of um, getting those files up into the cloud and, uh, and working with them. All these files will be open inside of Navisworks. So if I were to open up Navisworks right now, just to show everybody. Navisworks, give me a second here to open that up. And what we'll do maybe here is why don't we publish up a uh, MEP model here. All right, so here's a, a Revit MEP project. We'll go back to our add-ins and choose publish. And uh, let's publish in the, we'll take the default view. We're going to take in the HVAC and the plumbing. Pick the location once again under Docs, our, our uh, Autodesk Construction Cloud project, uh, the folder location, and publish to that location. So while that happens, uh, let's jump over to our Navisworks. And nice thing about Navisworks, I just have to jump up to this coordination space up here, choose the open button. And if you are using Autodesk Construction Cloud, I'm going to be able to pull those NWC files in um, from that location. So if I just find my folder here and um, well, the other files aren't up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back to my old file folder. And I'm just going to pick on all three, the ARC, the HVAC, and the plumbing, choose open. And now we can bring these into Navisworks and we can look at them a bit further. We can even run a clash detection inside of Navisworks if we'd like. Um, and pretty much just use Navisworks as it was intended to do. And if you look up in this coordination space, I could choose manage issues. And the Manage Issues dialog box will pull in all of the clashes that I had created um, inside of the uh, cloud space there. Oops, let's not delete that one. But you can see if I were to just jump over to the uh, selection tree here, and sometimes it's just easier to hide the architectural model. And you can see I can begin to uh, take a look at some of these clashes that were pulled from up there which um, is pretty good as well. And to top all that off, we could even view these clashes um, in, inside of Revit uh, using the uh, issues uh, command or add-in um, inside of Revit right here using the issues tab. 
So with that said, uh, that's a new tool uh, for available for uh, Revit as an add-in, the NWC add-in. Once again, you can export it out to um, your files out to the Autodesk Construction Cloud, or if you choose, you could um, just export them out to any um, location on your computer as you see fit. And here we go. There is our uh, files loaded up here. So hopefully uh, you guys uh, like that video and uh, feel free to check out that ad in inside your desktop app. Thank you.